Hi and welcome to this week's episode. This week I'm going to be turning my Citroen Berlingo van into a micro camper. So this is the, the start of the build. Just giving it a sweep out. So the reason I've decided to convert me van into a micro combat is to help us out with me landscape photography so I can get to locations the night before, sleep in comfort, relative comfort, and then get up ready for the sunrise in the morning instead of driving there instead of getting up at like say three in the morning or even earlier in the summer driving to your location you're tired you can't be bothered you know but this way that means i can get up as close to sunrise as possible get right into the locations and it's going to help us out a big deal with my landscape photography let's get cracking So I've just removed all the, the ply boards, giving it a sweep out hoover and I'll be ready to start insulating. It's the first time I've ever done anything like this so I, to be honest it's a bit, going to be a bit of trial and error for me but I'm just trying to work out what, how I'm going to do it. But I don't think it should be that hard. So I'll just show you now the materials I'm going to be using for this build. So I'm just using this recycled plastic loft insulation from B&Q. Not too expensive. I'm going to be using this silver tape. Now I don't know whether to use this glue to fix the, to stick this down to the to the side of the van or use that to stick that so I'm debating what to do there and I'm using the thermo wrap as the, the moisture barrier and also offers insulation properties Just got half the wall done there. I've just stuck it on with the, the glue in the bottles, and it's worked good. You've got to use a high temperature glue because if you don't use a high temperature glue, when it gets hot in the summer, it could melt the glue and the insulation will fall off from the side of your van. So that's something to note for you. So if I can get this. This one wall done in the next couple of hours, I'll be happy. So I've getting the the wool stuck to the side of the van, and I'm happy with that. So I'll turn you around. So this is all insulated here. It's insulation behind here. I'm going to put this back on this bit of wood. Timber, sorry. And and then I'm going to just put that foil all the way over this. And that's going to act as a moisture barrier and a heat reflective as well. So that's my next step in the process. Going well so far. Don't want to jinx it. You probably recognise that I haven't used any sound deafening fabric. I'm not too bothered about that because I can easily put earplugs in, you know, if it gets a bit noisy at the side of the road or if I'm on a noisy site. Earplugs, that'll just sort that job out. So I'm not bothered about that. And I'm not going to be putting any external power in either. 
you know, for the hookups. I'm not too bothered about that either. I'll just get one of those, you know, those leisure batteries that you can charge up. And battery banks, but the big ones. And I'll just bring that with us and just run me lights and stuff off that. I'll be cooking off gas. So, and I'll just get some little external lights just to hang up. Still haven't decided what lights to get yet. But the main thing for me is just to get the, the van insulated well. That's the main thing for me. Just so when I pull up the locations in the winter, you know, and have a nice comfy night's sleep. And I can be ready for those sunrises straight out the van on the location. Fantastic. So this is how far I am at the moment. Just putting the silver foil all around the vehicle now. So that wall there is fully insulated. And what I'll be doing is I'll be putting the carpet over. That'll be and the carpet will be the finishing the finishing look. And I'll just put the put the bed in. So what I'm gonna be doing for the bed is I've bought one off eBay. It's of a company called Cam. I think it's Camfit or Camdit. I put it up on the screen what it is. And them do you know very different amounts of beds online for different vehicles. And what it does, it'll just pull out and it'll extend into like a sort of a small double. And I've got like a little kitchen unit as well, which can uh, I can just put that on the front seat at a night time when I pull the bed, up, bed out because it's good. It is a very small space, you know, it's a micro camper, so I'm gonna have to just make do with the space I can, but. The good thing with this van is being a small van is you can get into, you know, locations, nip into places like little layby's and that, and you know, and gives you more of a variety of places you can stay really. Because you've had a big van, sometimes you know you can't get in places. So I'm happy with the with the size it'll do me for me little photography trips. So current state of play is I've got this side just about done. I'm going to have to cut that and then put that a bit neater. I'm not happy with how that is. Um, yeah, so moving on to this side now, I'll be taking these taking these black plastic panels off, stuffing insulation in to the cavities and then repeat. So that's the end of deal one. Got most of the insulation done. It'll just be the doors to do. Tackle them tomorrow. I might double up the floor insulation if I've got enough. Just to give it an extra layer on the floor. Getting the roof just about done. So I'm not far away from getting ready for the cops. So that's the end of day one of my van conversion. Happy with the progress and see where I get tomorrow. Good morning, it's day two on the build of the camper van. Give it a little bit of a tidy up this area. I wasn't too happy with it, but Showing the nice contours of the, the shapes now, so I'll, the carpet should go over that okay. I'm going to be attempting to carpet this. Now, I'm no carpet fitter, so I'm, I'm not really looking forward to it. I'm just hoping it's going to go all right. So fingers crossed it does. So I'm going to get cracking now. See if I can carpet this side. Hopefully it goes well. So I've got one side stuck up. It's just going to need trimming. Oh, a bit 
too bad. Not looking too shabby. So I've got that side now fully carpeted. It looks quite nice. I'm happy with it. I need to trim these edges. But you know what? For somebody who's not really good with carpets, I'm quite happy with that. It's got loads of insulation behind there to block out all that coal in the winter. Right, to the next side. This looks like it's going to be fun. It's actually amazing what a bit of carpet can do because before this carpet went in, I was starting to think it was looking a bit budge. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you've just got insulation lying around and that, it just looks a bit budge like. But when you see that finished article, and then once I get the floor down, a bit of lino on the floor, and then I'll get me, me ceiling in with some uh, skylights. Yeah! What I've decided to do is I've just filled that up with the foam insulation, stuffed it right in, and I'm going to be putting that. the timber back on. But I'm putting the tin, but I'm putting the foil on the back of it, and I'm going to just carpet the panel. I'm not going to do the whole door and carpet. I'm going to just carpet the panels. I can't be arsed with doing the whole door, like. So that's going to be my plan. But that silver there, I'll reflect. You know, any any penetrating coal that's coming through. Helping you be there for your customers. And until the end of March, get no percent. And then I'll carpet this timber. See how it turns out. Driving productivity. So that's the door done. So that's got the foam behind the 75 mil foam, and then it's got the silver foil on the back of this, and then the carpet on top. And that should give a bit of thermal barrier when I'm sleeping. Van carpeted. Needs a little bit of touching up here and there. Just got that door to do. Do that another day. But now I'm going to get the floor back in. And the floor walls are getting a line off floor. So I'll get the floor back in now. And it's starting to get some progress now. And it'll be this. The roof will be getting finished next week. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a ply roof with, put some holes in for light and then on top of the ply I'm going to just stick there, I'm going to put loads of insulation in the top so the roof's going to be really insulated. So it's only going to be the floor that's really only going to have a tin file insulation. The, four, the walls are done, the doors will be done. Getting there. So this is where I'm getting to on day two. I haven't been able to get the, the panel down on the floor because the floor has sort of changed its shape a bit. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of tweaking with that floor. So that'll be for another day. 
at missing out on a deadline signing to Ferrari. I'm happy with the progress. Try and get that stains off there somehow. That's coming on. Okay, so that's it for part one of this camper van conversion. I will be come back for part two, and in part two I'll be laying the floor and doing the ceiling, and then that'll be it. Put the bed in and ready to go.